Yes, brother. Good evening, uh, doctor. My name is Daniel. I'm a student. Uh, the 54th verse of the 7th chapter of the Quran says that Allah created the earth, the heavens and the earth in six days. And the 42nd chapter, verses 9 to 12, clearly state that Allah created earth and heaven as it is today in eight days. What is your reply to that? The well asked a question asked by Christian missionaries against the Quran. And there are several places in the Quran where it says Allah has created the heavens and the earth in six days. What the brother is referring, chapter number 41, verse number 9 to 12. He is saying that the Quran says that the heavens and the earth was created in eight days. The word eight is not there in the Quran. What it says, I'll tell you. The Quran says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who has created the heavens and the earth. And all those who differ, there are people who are bound to differ, are the ones who do shirk. And the verse continues, Almighty God created the earth in two days and Almighty God created the sustenance on the earth, the mountains, everything else, in four days. And verse number 11 of chapter number 41, Summa, most of the translations say, after, it means various other things, then Almighty God created the heavens in two days. Now, normally, a person reads 2 plus 4 plus 2 is equal to 8. But the word 8 is not there. God Almighty created the heavens in two days. Now, if we know Quran, we'll be able to reply. If a person does superficial leading, he may get misled. And Quran says, those people who try to mislead the people with this verse are those who associate partners with God. So Almighty God knows that people will use these verses of the Quran to mislead the people. The reply to the query. The reply is that Almighty God created the earth in two days. They created the sustenance, the trees, the mountains, and in due proportion in four days. Summa. Summa in Arabic can also mean simultaneously. It doesn't have to mean after. It can mean that, it can mean simultaneously Almighty God created the heavens in two days. For example, if I tell you, I am going to construct a building 30 stories high in six months. That's my statement. If you go into details, I tell that I will be creating the basement, the foundation of the building in two months and the structure in four months, all the 30 stories. Simultaneously, when I'm creating the foundation, I will even create the compound wall in two months. So basically, while I'm creating the foundation, I'm even creating the compound wall. That doesn't mean it is two plus four plus two, eight months. It is while I'm creating the foundation, simultaneously, I'm even creating the compound wall. So actually, my building will be constructed in six months, not eight months. So similarly, when Allah says, when He created the earth, he even created the heavens. So the two days of the earth, simultaneously Allah created the heaven. That is in Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 30, Avalam yaral lazina kafuru. Do not the unbelievers see, anna samawati wal arda, kaanat ratkam satakna huma. That the heaven and the earth were joined together and we clove them asunder. So Quran says we created the heaven and the earth simultaneously. Fafatakna huma. We clove them asunder. This is Nothing but the Big Bang in a nutshell. Today, Big Bang tells us that the whole universe was one primary nebula. Later on, there was secondary separation, which gave rise to galaxies, the stars, the planets, the earth on which we live. So, based on Big Bang, science even doesn't disagree with the Quran. That when the heaven was being created, the earth was being created simultaneously. So, the first two days and the last two days are simultaneously. So, there's no contradiction. It's a contradistinction. Contradistinction means giving other facets of the thing. It is not contradiction. Contradiction means two things with the opposite. Contradistinction means telling you other qualities. For example, if I say that you are very honest, tomorrow I tell you are very kind. It's not contradiction. It's a contradistinction. You are honest also and you are kind also. But tomorrow if I say they are dishonest, then there's a contradiction. So this verse of the Quran gives more details how the six days were divided. First two days the earth, simultaneously the heavens, and later on four days 
the things on the earth were made, the mountains, the trees, in due proportion? Hope that answers the question. I have a very simple question. You know Sikhism, the foundation stone for Amritsar Guru Mandar was given a chance to a Muslim by the name Mia Mir. Why, on the contrary, you say a non-Muslim cannot go to the house of God? What's your comments about it? <laughs> 